How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Just Passing, a free online game over on Newgrounds made by Joel Likes Pigs for the Halloween season. I've just been really enjoying doing one-offs for the time being. I'm gonna get back to some of the actual series on the channel here very shortly, but I think I just needed a pause from some of that stuff. So here we are, just giving it a whirl. I guess you could say I'm just passing through the game. You could say that, it only mildly makes sense. We're on the bus. I don't really know anything about this game. There was obviously a cute art style in the thumbnail and everything there, and I was very attracted to, th to that. Okay, it looks like we're here. Wait, here? Where's here exactly? What's going on here is our, our first quest. Ooh, man, that actually looks really nice. Our little, our little running bubbles smoke, because we're tearing it up, we're going so fast. Back seat is always the coolest. As soon as you stop moving for like a second, you get all pouty and get all this attitude. Bus driver, sorry to hear about all the stuff you went through. It's nice to know you can move on though. What do you know about my life? Why are you so invested in your random passenger's life here? Nosy bus driver, what was he listening in on that maybe he shouldn't have been? So, what exactly is this place? Ah, of course. I feel it's best to talk to the conductor. She's a little bit better at explaining this stuff. It's very flamboyantly like Easter colored bus considering it's a Halloween game. Plus, I gotta go. Wait, bye. I certainly hope I took some of that luggage off with me. Well, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Did I really update that quest? I feel like I didn't learn a whole lot more. Go to the station. Wow, this is a very, like, intricate, involved menu system considering what, like, a simple game this seems to be. Lucky Red Hoodie, you always wear this. It's sort of gross and needs a wash. I don't think you really need to wash hoodies, right? You just wear them until they fade away into tatters and then you get a new one. A few different points of interest. God, maybe this game is going to be longer than I was expecting. Bus stop. Still no idea how I ended up on that bus, though. You don't even know how you ended up on the bus, and then the bus driver knows, like, weird details about your life, apparently? This is a, certainly a weird start to the day, then, isn't it? I feel that isn't right. I best stick to the path. I mean, the road is a type of path, would it not be? Trippy. Just could say that about all of them. We got a nice welcome at least. At least people want us here, it seems like. That's exactly what I'm saying. It feels welcoming. That's a good sign. The first good sign. Station to the north. Enjoy your stay. Man, what a absolutely pleasant, wonderful art style. I'm in love with how this game looks. Hey, look, it's me. Maybe the wavy text is a little overused. It's in like every dialogue option. Wait, was I, what was I interacting with there? The trash can or the sign? Please don't litter our town. Thank you. I'll do my best. I, all I have on me is a hoodie, apparently, so I should be pretty safe. I bet this thing beats scissors every time. It's the lone little rock. Maybe I shouldn't be walking straight on the grass. Is that what's going on here? There's a bunch of ants in the way. I best stick to the path. Really? You're worried about a bunch of ants? What if I run off the path in like in like this direction? I can't I can't honestly get very far off the path, it seems. I can't even interact with the other rocks. I, I happen to find the one rock that you can interact with. This way to the to the lake. We better hit up the station first. We better get a sense of like what's actually going on here. Complaining about ants and things that come on, there's not that many different directions or things that we can go. The way it kicks you off the path continually is very annoying and I'm, I'm just trying to I wish I wish I was free to explore this town a little bit the, the amount of times it throws up these roadblocks can be kind of frustrating south of the station so I guess I just keep heading on north then gives you a little bit of a sense of that but I wish I could just free roam ah sweet this thing has soda shame I have no cash what are you so pumped about then you're just pumped about the possibility of soda uh, pop possibilities get me pretty excited sometimes, too. Hmm, what the heck is that? Oh, goodness. Uh, hello? What the heck is going on? Keep it, keep it calm, calm yourself there. You're going to offend this one-eyed monstrosity. Oh, you're one of those, huh? 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so I apologize for my race, species, uh, humanity. I'm not sure which exactly you're offended by. Please don't hurt me. What's going on? <laughs> Before every interaction you ever have in life, make sure you lay out clearly that you do not want to be hurt, or else who knows what people might do. You're dead. Oh, damn. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. I thought I was just, like, visiting a ghost world. What? Oh, just passing all of a sudden makes so much more sense. You're not just you're not just passing through. You have just passed. Ah, uh, clever title. Well, almost. Sometimes we get these rare cases like yourself. C can I go back? Look, I'll do you a solid. It's getting quite crowded around here. If you can help some of the locals pass on, I can send you back through the light at the end of the tunnel. What? On my train. It's not going to be cheap, though. A ticket for this caliber will cost you six, no, seven souls. And how will I go about getting these souls? I'm sure you'll figure something out that is so unclear and so unhelpful. You know damn well what needs to be done, and you're just going to contribute nothing. I wouldn't try that if I was you. The only way through there is with a ticket. The only way I'll let you go through there is getting me those souls. We better get a move on. I don't know if we have a time, li time limit on this. I Like, in the game, I assume not. But, like, you know, like, story-wise. Are we in purgatory until we can find a way out? Uh, as soon as I get me a soul, I'm spending it on one of these sodas. We'll get more souls after, I'm sure of it. I'm sure there's at least eight souls of the entirety of the town. We can afford to spend one on a sweet, refreshing beverage. What was up with all the ants in the afterlife then? Why are those crawling around all over the place? Also a giant eyeball, apparently. This thing has bottles of sand in here. Shame I have no cash. Oh, so at some point someone's going to want a bottle of sand, right? This is unsettling. And that's all we have to say about it. Moving on, creeped right out. Hello? Any lonely ghosts? Ghosts in need of help? You there, big-nosed ghost. Perhaps you need a tissue? Hey there, stranger. Sorry, all our rooms are fully booked. Hey, how come How come I don't look like a ghost yet? What, what does it take for these people? Maybe they have passed on, and then they got, they got jobs in the afterlife to come look after this little town? That sucks. If I become a ghost, I don't want to work. That would be like one of the one advantages of being a ghost is never working again. Are these stairs just painted on? Well, that is a dumb idea, isn't it? Did this place even look tall enough to have a second story? I thought for sure it was. But now I need to go do a double take here. Mm, there's no second story windows or anything. It could just be that it's very tall in here. All right, well, is there anything I can do for you? Can I help at all? Hmm. How about you, guy who works in a weird kitchen? It's a kitchen. I thought it was like a store or something. I guess it's a kitchen. Just hanging out back here. What What would a ghost eat? Ghosts have, like, pizza and stuff? I wouldn't have guessed. Let me let me just come back there. Ooh, cut, go, brand knife. Extra sharp. This knife is really sharp. Sharp enough for vegetables, at least. Hmm. I mean, that's like average sharpness, isn't it? I would be disappointed if I found a knife that wasn't at least that sharp. Is there nothing here? Or are these ghost ingredients? Good question. I'm curious about that, too. Like, do you just you can just eat regular carrots and apples and pizza and stuff as a ghost? That's good. That's good. I would miss food a lot, I think. Buigi. Oh, hey. Man, I tell you, I've been working here forever and not a single raise. I'm about ready to quit. Shame there's no other jobs on the market, though. So there's so many questions here. You do have to work. There's promotions. There's obviously a need for currencies. This fridge looks like the one on the right. And does this one look like the one on the left? Well, they look a lot alike, but they are mirror images. There's something fishy going on there. Start, start busting out the theories, guys. There's a, a lot to be discerned, a lot to be thought through. What does it all mean? What about you there, candy cane shaped ghost? You're for sure gonna need help. Maybe I could crack your back for you or something. Man, I love drinking soda. Shame it's bad for you. I wouldn't want to die, you know, again. That's is that a joke or a real possibility? You can't can't throw those things around, man. I'm totally new to this world. I I don't know. I don't know what the risks are. This fountain looks really relaxing, and the water looks really fresh. I might be dead, but it's nice to appreciate the little things every once in a while. 
Stop and smell the dead, decaying roses. Speaking of which, let's let's go to this uh, flower shop here. See what they got going on. Oh man, it's really jamming in here. I'm liking this. I'm liking this uh, music choice there, Mrs. Gardener Ghost. Boonadette. Is everyone gonna have Boo in their names? Is someone gonna have like some other pun to go off of? Something with like Ghoul or Spectre or Banshee or anything. Any any variety of ghost-ish related things. Hello there, dear. How are you? Bootiful day, isn't it? Alright, you're leaning a little too heavy into the boo thing here, Boonadette. I'm gonna need you to pedal it back a little bit. There's not a plant I don't know. Plants are my life, even in death. It's, uh, it's, I, I like, I appreciate dedication, and I also appreciate that you can make those sorts of jokes about it. It shows a real dedication to the craft. Hey, what are you doing? That's where I keep my prized shovel. Oh, I'm gonna get that shovel. You may prize it, but I want it, and I think I probably want it more. It's full of magazines with big buff guys holding plants. Ooh, you look, got a little bit of a, got a little bit of a thing, do you, maybe? Something, you big buff guys with plants? Is that your thing? Have I discovered your kink? Don't worry, secret's safe with me. I see nothing wrong with it. I knew that that pumpkin was all for me. The scariest of all vegetables. Well, second to broccoli. Why is there a big pile of poo? Maybe someone just misspelled boo. They were gonna write boo on there yet again and, and ran out. Maybe I need the shovel to get the poo. I personally love broccoli, by the way. Gross! I'm not going near this unless I have to. You do. You do have to. At least not with my bare hands. But I insist. I think it's going to be important. We don't need to find out why it's important yet. Let's just anticipate that it will in some way, shape, or form be important and just grab ourselves a little fistful, stick it in your pocket. Sooner or later, someone's going to be looking for poo and will be the one they have to come to. It's a very hot commodity in the ghost world. Again, I don't understand how their food or digestive systems work. Sooner or later, if they're eating food, they're gonna have to do some business, but they, all they got is ghost poop. Having like human or cattle poop is, is very important. Even this phone says boo on it, come on. Now, who, would, who would we possibly call? Mushy Mushy. We'd call the duck. We call the Aflac hotline, perhaps? This rock is pretty weird, right? Maybe it's not? I've been dead for quite a while. It's hard to remember all the details. So to help, I save everything in my phone. It didn't seem like there was anything particularly important there. Also, just unsettling. It's about as unsettling as the other eye. But now we know there's two eyes. Do you think there's a mouth somewhere? A nose? Are we sitting on top of a full face, perhaps? Uh, mind if I just raid your pizza boxes there? Boo Ryan's. I'm not even mad. I like the name Boo Ryan. Old dry mold. This mold is all dry looking, but more importantly, why did I pick this up? I mean, you're going to just grab a fistful of mold, but not poop? Hard to know where your lines are, I suppose. I don't know what, you, what your cutoffs are. Oh, I do have kind of a list of things going on here. Find the seven souls, of course. I don't have any. Flower power. I've got a ghost that's really into plants. Another one who hates his job. These are the only things I've I've come across apparently. I thought maybe I would have more. Boo Ryan. Oh, look at his wonderful rainbow text. What a bright, happy, uh, pleasant character to be around. Good morning, little one. I know I look a little intimidating. What with my size, I simply eat a little too much. Is all. Ah, uh, if only I could stomach the taste of vegetables. Got a care? I, I got a I got a pumpkin for ya. Let me figure out how to use it maybe, and then and then maybe you'll be excited about the, the possibility. I do not know how to use my inventory. Perhaps it just automatically uses it when it's important. It looks cozy. Anything good on the the boob tube? That's a that joke landed perfectly, I'm certain of it. It's full of lots of pasta. Is that a brand? It's capitalized. <laughs> I feel like it's supposed to be like significant in some way with the, with the big L there. I'm curious. I feel like we've covered quite a bit of town already. Uh, there's quite a lot of residential stuff going on here. We haven't made it out uh, west. Something. Yeah, there's quite a bit left to move around still. 
Oh, there's like there's like four different eyes around town. Why is there so many eyes? What are the eyes all about? Another soda machine. What's this one gonna have? Uh, Boo Long Tea. Another beverage, at least in this one, and a good pun. We'll get some cash. Don't let's go get a part-time job. Then we'll pick back up in the soul hunt somewhere after we earn a bit of cash. That seems like a good system. Well, the 282 convenience store stinks out loud. I don't see a single anything. I'm gonna check all the shelves just in case there's like a loose something, even if it's just a joke, regardless if it's like a quest item. Hey, don't mind me. It's none of my business, but I hear the manager here is really into baseball. Oh, well, that doesn't seem like a quest yet. We'll talk to him and see in what way. The Spectary. Thank you. Thank you for bringing Spectre in. I couldn't think of how to turn that into a name. That That's, that's this game's job, is to do things like that. So good work there. Hey, dude. Not often we get customers here. It's pretty dead. Plus, we don't have anything to sell. It's... Pretty cushy job, though. To be honest, I'm just saving up to buy some baseball stuff. That's so generic. Do you want a ball? Do you want a glove? A bat? Uh, just some, like, merchandise? Some trading cards? I'll get you anything and everything I can. And I'm sure he'll just be appreciative to have anything. Everyone knows all baseball players go to hell, so it's hard to come across that sort of stuff. Notice, this is a sign. Sign, this is a notice. Oh my god, my brain. Alright, well let's just leave this place. There's no recovering from that. Well then. We weren't, we weren't allowed to run this way before. Oh, do you know what? That was totally just because it was guiding us straight to the station. Oh, is the thing with ants gone now? Can I run wherever I like finally? Yes, I appear to have been granted free roaming abilities, which is... Exactly what I wanted. I'm glad the game's no longer holding me back. Do you ever just think about food? Yes, I, so much. Specifically ghost food, all the time. Not many people like vegetables. But sometimes you can do stuff to make them more palatable. Solid hint there, bruh. Do you think if I rub some mold on it, it would make it more enjoyable to the average ghost? Seems like if he was care- what the hell? Is this a giant crow duck? But anyways, if he's just if he's got boxes full of mold sitting around, obviously it's not due to unsanitary conditions. It's because he likes it, right? I don't know what ghosts eat. Probably mold. Ka ka ka. But probably like a quack or two in there somewhere too. Seeds, tasty seeds. Mm, I see no need for seed at the moment. Perhaps we will need them later. Well, well, well. It's a well. Why do I make these jokes when I have no one around to hear them? <laughs> That's the kind of meta humor I like. Well, this pumpkin made a good head, but it's still missing something. Oh, so I guess we're not feeding the pumpkin to anyone. Now that's scary. Well, close enough anyways. Oh, we carved it with the knife. I have no idea. I couldn't tell at first what I was doing. What, what more could possibly be done to make that guy a little more spooky? Looks like plants can at least die in the afterlife. I'm spooky. It is not what I expected. It is neat, though. Uh, I thought this would be a hail, hay pile that I could break apart or something. All right, Farmer Joe. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a ghost name. Billy Boob. I was gonna say his name was Bob or something, but I was like, no. Then it would just become Boob, and then that's kind of like you know, it's not really the joke that they're going for. But fair enough. Run, roll with it. I guess boobs matter less to ghosts. Howdy. Not much out here. All the crops keep dying. Raises a lot of questions about mortality, if you ask me. But I was never much of a good farmer. Though I imagine that darn crow has something to do with it. There, there's, there, oh my god, there's so many, there's infinite questions about this, the afterlife world building that's going on here. I'll deal with your crow by poisoning its seeds. That seems like the appropriate reaction. Hmm, a hammer, obviously I want the hammer. A smash co hammer. These things are garbage at actual do-it-yourself, but really good at breaking small glass boxes. Uh, I have not come across such a thing yet. This hay looks really badly drawn. I hate drawn hay too, I've had to do it before, and it just ends up looking like a massive yellow with... Yeah, hay. Hay sucks to draw. I relate. I wonder if there's any needles in here. 
Well, get surgeon. I hear it's very easy. <laughs> it's a very uh, plausible task to find a needle in a haystack. Boo. I didn't realize it was a ghost cow. It makes sense. It's, it's floating, but I mean, ugh, moo. I love it. I love this cow so much right now. The boo moo joke is the highlight of the game so far. That's the standout, standout joke in my book. Oh, is there, maybe you can go in the side door too. I should, should check before I abandon the farm entirely. Nope. Nope, oh, just two ways. All right, but I'm gonna go in your house now too. Hope you don't mind, I'm sure he doesn't. We don't need to ask. The door is glued shut. Why? What are you hiding in there, boob? Maybe he killed a man. Yeah, I don't really know how murder works in this world, but hey, who knows? The guy's a loose cannon. I can do anything. Just a weird rock, right? This one doesn't unsettle you? That one you're like, bah, this, those other ones, those are crazy, ridiculous, spooky eyes in the middle of the field. That one's just like a weird rock, though, I'm sure of it. This place isn't so bad. At least once you get used to the no body thing. I quite enjoy my body. I would like to keep it as long as possible. You would think we would show more horror movies here. People are probably sick of the horror. You gotta throw some comedy in there. Maybe spice it up. Maybe maybe put on the Spice Girls movie. That would, that would keep things lively for people. I guess folks just don't want to be reminded of death. No, I understand that. I think that's legit. You're a bad entrepreneur if you don't anticipate that. It's an old Pop Master 3000. Looks like it's the do-it-yourself model. Seems I'll need to bring my own corn. Ah, oh, we gotta chase away that crow to improve the crops to get our own corn. This is the order of operations that I'm anticipating at least. What about this one? What's it doing inside? It even has a little bit of grass growing around it still. Man, movie places in the afterlife sure are weird. Now what about these? Are these real stairs for a change? They're also just painted on. Whose idea was this to make the afterlife real fake stairs? God, whose idea was it to make everything in the afterlife one story? Lazy architects, you guys can float. You don't even need scaffolding. It, it, would, it, it would be so easy for you. All right, I need, I need a reminder of where we're at in terms of this stuff. Yes, a reminder is exactly what I need. The picky eater, he wants to lose some weight, get him something healthy to eat. I gotta find a plant for this guy. I gotta find baseball for this guy. Take me out to the bool game. That's pretty funny. Funny that there's a lot of food and, and plant related things it seems like. And this guy wants crops. He hates his job. All right. I would love, love to accomplish a single task. Let's make ourselves to the, make our way to the other side of the town there. Go visit this uh, guy who's hermiting himself away, or her, or ambiguous. Hard to know with ghosts. Just stashing themselves away on the far side here. Nice one. This one wasn't shawit for a change. It's old salty water. Shame I have no cash. I don't know if this is fresh water or not, but if you want some water, there seems to be plenty around. I don't know, you seemed unfazed earlier by the fountain of pink water, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that pink water is the norm. Well, what's all this then? 50 cents! It's nice and shiny. Can I just keep taking that? I best not. It's not good to be greedy. I mean, if you're going to leave it out in the open like that, it's probably it's like leaving a couch out on the sidewalk, right? You just are expecting people to take it. You want them to take it. <laughs> Old Spooky Joe! I thought we would have a farmer, Joe, but no, just the random guy who lives in the dock. Hello there, don't mind me, I'm just fishing. I want to see what a, a ghost fish looks like. I'm not very good at it, though. All I ever seem to catch is gold. All I ever wanted to do was catch a fish. More food. Everyone just wants food. At some point, am I going to start swapping items with people, or is this going to be all about... Like, if I find him a fish, is he going to give me something else, that, like a vegetable or something? Oh, it's locked. No luck. I'm gonna sneak up the side though. Oh, hello. Hello, little guy. Moist Randy. Ugh. You know, this guy's actually really good at fishing. He just doesn't seem to use any bait. Oh, so maybe I don't need to bring him a fish. Maybe I just need to bring him some bait. Thank you for the tip there. Mold? Does, does mold make good bait? Uh, what What is still missing from our scarecrow? Like a spooky hat? Or something? Ooh, what's this? What in God's name? I thought that little guy over there was like a little baby Loch Ness monster. We got the full real deal going on over here. 
Wet Randy. This is the full-on Randy, is it? Ooh, don't be alarmed. No, I'm all right. I'm quite all right. I'm ha I'm having a good time here. I this is a Newgrounds game, but I'm not playing it directly on Newgrounds. So when I talk to this thing, it's like trying to give me the Newgrounds achievement, but it's not actually working. So when you see that metal get pop up in the corner, that's that's what that's coming from. Well, I think at that point, I've probably explored the full town. I could go north of the farm and, like, east of the, the station there. There's kind of a cliff up there that I didn't really go up. So I'm going to check that out, too. Oh, the soda pop. Someone wanted soda pop, right? Looks like there's some soda in here. Buy the soda? Yes. Slurp Master Soda. Extra dry. But it's diet. hate diet. Now, who, who was it who was pumped on soda? And do I still have any money? Do I have to keep revisiting there for, for 50 cents every time? I don't know what this is. Just checking up on more eyes. Ah, there is more to investigate up here, though. We got this tiny little dog house, maybe? Oh, look, a tiny house. Go inside. Uh, hell yes, please. I... I don't fit. I thought you were gonna Alice in Wonderland it or something, where you, like, stick your eyeball in it or something at the very least. Giving up. Giving up awful quick. I mean, I'm curious. Let's just, let's just go giant mode and just rip the roof off that thing. We have our big old hammer. We could just nail it back on there with one single nail once we're done with it. I just want to double check if I miraculously somehow have more to add to that. Not yet. I mean, it's not a vegetable or anything, but what if I gave you a diet soda? That's a good start, right? You would feel, you'd feel better about yourself with that one. It's full of a surprising amount of protein shakes. You have it... Nothing else. Nothing else in this apartment that I can help with. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe no one was asking for soda. I don't know where th I thought that that came up, other than in the actual soda machine that had soda. Oh, I don't think I've gone in here yet. This looks like the other guy who was talking about food. I hear this guy was really into baseball. Well, before he kicked the bucket, that is. Another fun game. <laughs> Maybe he just changed interests. Now he just seems to have some sort of drinking problem. But is it like a drinking problem in like airplane where he just misses his mouth? I kept looking at the map and thinking that I had somehow missed some some houses and buildings and stuff, but then for whatever reason couldn't find them. But now now I'm good. Now I found them. This guy'll have baseball stuff. I'll have a soda for him or whatever. Gary. It's doesn't work quite as well as any of like the boo things or anything like that. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just a little thirsty is all. <laughs> Well, I got a soda for you. You got me a drink? Oh, my favorite. <laughs> oh, his drinking problem is they just can't get enough of it. He has a bottle of soda just like on his wall. A bunch of these are just defying the laws of gravity and physics. They're just doing whatever. It's still so dry. Oh, dang it. I It specifically was like a dry soda, wasn't it? Oh, but he took it. You, you did take it. I see you're eyeing up my old baseball. Yeah, it used to be a pretty big deal. Can I have it? You got me a drink? Oh, my favorite, still so dry. Come on, man, that's not fair. I got you a drink that's more than anyone else has given you, as far as I can tell. Oh, we probably also want some boo long tea. He probably wants all the drinks, doesn't he? There's a bunch of soda bottles hidden under here. He, he hid a couple of them. It's full of empty bottles. Most of them are just scattered where you can clearly see them. I see no need in actually hiding them. It's empty, except for all the bottles that are inside it. This doesn't really sound like what empty means. All right, well now we know where we can get baseball stuff at the very least. Let's hit up the uh, the next door one here. Is this door just painted on? Who is the artist in this town who's just painting on useful looking things all over the place? I don't know what else to add to my scarecrow here. Are you goddamn scared yet? Huh? Well, what the heck is that? Oh! Yeah, well you get the hell out of here, you big dumb evil looking duck. Living embodiment of fear itself. Man, that scarecrow must have been a little too scary, huh? Wow, we sure freaked it the hell out. What are we going to do with the fear? Give it to the movie theater guy? He said people don't like scary stuff. Corn, though. It's all used up. But I'm sure more will grow again. Fresh corn. Freshly grown piece of corn. Well, the first crop you've had in your entire... Somehow this is your entire field, man. It's a, it's a pretty god-awful farm. But somehow, your first crop, and I just swooped in and stole it, so sorry about that. Crow's gone? Just knowing my vegetables are finally safe. Oh! 
That's awesome. That was enough to make this guy feel feel good about himself. Farming soul. This soul smells a little like tilled earth. Interesting. Well, that was a neat little animation. I like how he poofed. Oh, we, yeah, we can't go through that one. I like how he poofed out. That was neat. Let's go give this guy some corn. Yeah, the, the guy who wants to eat better won't want it, so it'll still be a, like a pretty boring vegetable. Oh, uh, we'll make popcorn. We'll give it to him because popcorn is just like better corn, right? <laughs> he'll he'll fall for that. He'll be into it. I I probably gotta go in and interact. They don't even they don't even have movie posters up. There there's like a poster or two on the wall back there. But if you look outside here, they're all just blank. What terrible advertising! No wonder no one comes and visits your theater. Also, as far as I can tell, you have no screen. It's just a popcorn machine and a weird eye. Popcorn! Man, this popcorn smells great. Is that still a vegetable? No, nah, that's the that's what I was thinking. We're on the same page here. Hoodie lady. I don't think the character was ever named. I'm not positive. The dominoes are starting to fall here. It's all coming together. All we had to do was get rid of that damn crow, and now we're doing just fine. Ho oh, ho ho! What is this simply delightful aroma? This food, it's... To think a vegetable could have such a taste. It's making me feel... No. Well, I, I thought at first he was just losing weight. Nope, also just puffing out of existence. The large soul. The soul feels a little heavier than the others, but, you know, also slightly less heavy than it was just a short moment ago. We ought to feel real good about ourselves right about now. We're doing... We're doing the Lord's work. I still get the popcorn too, I didn't even lose the popcorn. He had like one bite and was instantly satisfied. The fear though, I don't really know, I don't know what to do with anything else again now. Dang it. Okay, so the first quest is what's going on, the second one is find the souls, and then there's seven more? So these, I've met all seven of the fish who need help. Not the fish, the ghosts. I just happened to see the word fish and my brain broke a little bit. But that's a good sign. Not my brain breaking, the fact that we have met all of the, the ghosts who need help. That's the good sign. God, how many terrible slip-ups have I had throughout this video saying, like, calling them a, a fish? Does that happen frequently and I just didn't catch it any other time? It's a crate. Looks kind of sticky. I wouldn't... I guess it's just covered in pop? I'm quite surprised he doesn't say fully booked. All right, can I just go and take more treasure from the big overflowing heaping treasure pile? Because I really would like more, please. You have so much of it. Don't be greedy. Oh, you, oh, that's kind of a bummer that you have to run back every time. But now that I think about it, there was like a dry soda, a bottle of sand. This one was like, was it salt or unsalted water? Lake water, I don't think I want, I don't want lake water, no. There's, there's one that's just the Boolong tea, right? That seems like it would be a nice satisfying drink. I, that's gotta, that's gotta be the one we gotta go for. I thought it, I thought throughout this game I was gonna have to buy all of these for different reasons. No, I, not the sand. I'm thinking now you just only have to buy the one correct one and then you'll be, You'll be all set. The tea. The tea is what I wanted. Yes. Grandma Spooky's Reserve Boolong Tea. Extra moist. Looks good, but I'm not thirsty. Do you know who would like some really moist tea? Moist Randy. Oh, but he's so far away. I guess I'll just give it to Gary. Gary, would you enjoy another bevy? Wait. What's this feeling? My throat is so moist, this feeling, ugh. A quest to quench. The soul is kind of sticky and dry. That's gross. That's by far the grossest, grossest soul so far. Now we can just rob him, right? This hammer will do the trick. Oh shit, I didn't even think about the fact we were going to have to smash the glass. Why wouldn't we keep it in the glass? Now all of a sudden the super rare signed baseball is exposed. You should have given it to him in the memorabilia case. Man, this baseball looks really special. It's a shame I smashed the thing that was designed to contain it. And it was signed by some guy. I know who loves some guy. Some guy is the 282 guy's favorite baseball player. Or so I've heard. Or so I suspect and entirely am, am just guessing about. I'm guessing the 282 is some sort of guess about a joke about 7-Eleven. The... They're all raised by one, like instead of 7 one 
or like it's some joke on 24 7 ah it doesn't I'm there's something there and I just don't get the reference or whatever whoa is that an original Spookyville slugger baseball and it's signed Oh man, no amount of savings will ever amount to how much this is worth. I could just blah, 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 take me out to the Boole game. The soul feels like it has team spirit. <laughs> spirit. Way to, way to get a chuckle out of yourself. Well, you're free to leave and do whatever. Don't mind me. It's none of my business. He still... I don't think he noticed. I don't think he saw. Help wanted sign. Looks like there's a pretty nicely paid position here now. I was thinking once we got rid of this guy, it would open up the opportunity for a job. Almost missed that I had to collect that, though. That was a, a little bit hard to spot right away. I'm pretty sure that guy was in the kitchen of the inn. We never really did anything with the inn. There was never rooms in the inn. Maybe that was the intention, but then they were like, ah, I came up with enough puzzles and, and don't need to add more. I'll just say the stairs are fake and move on. Pretend like it doesn't exist. That's what I'd do. Cop your way out. What's this? An easier job with a higher salary? Just knowing something better's out there. <laughs> it's so weird to think that, like, that was the hang-up of why his soul was unable to move on. Once there was the opportunity for a job, he was so stoked that he left Purgatory. The go-getter soul. This soul feels like it works hard, but it's a little underappreciated. I appreciate the work that you've done. And isn't that all that matters? That one random stranger appreciates it? Okay, so we still need a flower and a fish. Or bait. Probably bait. Oh, maybe, maybe there's something I can take from here now, at least. I don't think there's anything I can swipe from this kitchen. Does the innkeeper's dialogue change at all, though? Nope, still, still no access. There's gotta be something I do with, like, the mold or the fear. That would have something to do with the, the plants or the bait. The mold would be most, most likely for the bait. It does specifically identify that the, the mold is dry. I don't think I can interact with running water or anything. I, I probably have to go with the fountain. I think that's the only moist spot other than Randy the man where I can interact with. There we go. Fancy fresh mold. This mold looks a whole lot healthier now. It's still really gross though. But is that close enough to being a plant? Do I have to fake it any more than that or are you on board with this? What's that you have there? What a new plant? I've never seen anything like it. Just knowing there's new plants even here in the afterlife. That was a real gamble of a thing to be hung up on when you're trying to move on to like a new life, you know? Likely there's still new plants to be found in the regular, the before life? I think you just call it life. <laughs> um, but to bank on the fact that you find something new in the afterlife, yikes. Floral soul. The soul smells slightly of flowers, how nice. Well that's the nicest soul we've found so far. Having a big range of soul textures and smells and experiences. A prized shovel. What an interesting shovel. It looks kind of dangerous. Uh, I'm not planning to do any murdering or anything. All I want it for is to take a couple scoops of poop. Because I poop might be a good bait somehow. Juicy worm. Ah, makes more sense than just giving him a shovel full of shit. <laughs> this worm looks delicious. You know, for a worm. I I don't eat worms. Personally, I, I, I would never dream of such a thing. I've done it before. I did it for 25 cents. I was promised $5. And it was not delivered. It was, uh, I'll say not worth it. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, I didn't notice that, the nice serene soundtrack going on at the lake before. Well, I'm gonna snag some more money while I'm at it, just cause like, I'm a little low right now, and uh, you clearly have some to spare. How do I keep finding the one piece of silver in this heaping thing of jewels and gold? What a ripoff. Oh, what's this? Why, of course, worms! Knowing it wasn't my lack of fishing skill, but my lack of bait, I can finally move on. Hey, he's probably gonna reek, isn't he? The soul smells a very talented, but not too bright and a little fishy. Mostly the fish is standing out, though. I like how when it does the zoom in on the item and the screen goes white like that, there's a few things like the that you can interact with and stuff that are separate from the background that stay in view. It's a small detail, 
and it might just be an artifact of how the layers are built in Game Maker, but I like it. I think it, it adds like a nice little aesthetic. Everything about the look of this game is unbelievable. Who is it? Joel Likes Pigs? Yeah, just did a quick confirmation on that name. I'm for sure following this guy closely to see what he does next. Maybe he has larger projects in the work. I think I think he said this took like the majority of October to put together. So if he made all of this in like less than a month, I would love to see what he can make when he puts some serious time into it. Definitely, I'll have links to him down below and stuff, because for sure, you guys should check this guy out too. Oh, what's this? You did it! Don't be offended, but I'm honestly a little surprised. Well, honestly, I'm a little offended. <laughs> but anyway, a deal's a deal. The train will take you back. Here, take this. The train ticket. Ticket to ride. That's kind of a funny little reference to the board game. A regular looking train ticket. It says it's good for one free ride. The one way ticket to hell and back. Let me through, please. Yoink. See you later, ghosts. Peace out, Booville. I don't know if it was ever named, but I'm I'm out. I'm never coming back unless there's a sequel. Oh, shit. Well, is the conductor the devil? Because I was not prepared for that. That seems like that could cause some issues. So, how long is this going to take? Why, such the rush, dear. I'm just sort of excited to get back home is all and, you know, live again. Home? Oh, you're serious. You're not going home, dear. What? Oh, I got shafted. That guy was just being lazy in town there. Where am I going? Oh, it better not be hell. Oh, come on, really? I was not expecting that to be the end of the game. Aw, oh, goddammit. This isn't built as just like a demo or something, is it? I don't know, I tried to look in like the Newgrounds comments or user description or whatever that Joel would have left for the game. It doesn't indicate that it's a demo or anything. Who knows what its plan is? I guess Twitter would be the place to go to find something like that out. Damn, that was really cool. I really enjoyed that wonderful art style and just like a generally well put together. I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm glad to have uh, given it a try. I should probably focus on playing some uh, existing series again now, but uh, we'll, we'll get to it in time, I'm sure. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.